What's going on guys? Hope you're all having a wicked day. Welcome back to the videos. This poor camera could definitely do with a bit of a sensor clean. <laughs> anyway guys, yes, I teased you guys, made you wait an extra video, made sure that we put these beautiful wheels on this car. And uh, while it's warming up, let's quickly talk about everything that's going on here. So a few other little things have been done since the dyno. Uh, I put in this beautiful Raceworks catch can, which you guys can all see. It looks absolutely amazing. And at the moment, we just have this catch can line just chilling. That is, in the future, gonna be routed back into the intake right here. Uh, we've also got this valve cover all nice and beautifully painted by, uh, by Ward Paint and Panel. He absolutely killed it on that right there. It looks so nice. The changes that we've made, once again, gone with the Raceworks fuel pump, and then a Raceworks fuel filter, which is now just chilling right there. Goes into Bosch 1000cc injectors through a Raceworks fuel rail. Goes up to my FPR 800, and then down into my Raceworks E85 content sensor, and then all the way back. But we've done stainless hardline the entire way through. Everything looks so incredible. Also cannot forget that we are now running on a Helltech Elite 1500 in this cast. So let's jump in, let's go for a bit of a rip. We'll talk about some numbers, we'll talk about some boost levels, and uh, yeah, go from there. Let's go for a rip. jump into today's Evo video, about 50% of you are not subscribed. If you guys want to check out more Wicked Evo content, chuck a fat click on the subscribe button and then also uh, potentially like the video because I would very much appreciate that. It really does help all of us YouTubers. And may as well, while you're down there, chuck a comment. Chuck some hate in the comment section. I love to see it. No, honestly guys, it really does help us all out. So before we jump into the video, please go down, subscribe, like, and comment on the video. Let me know what you think of the new Evo 6, and let's jump straight into today's video. Righto guys, well welcome to the Evo. Uh, a lot has changed since we, uh, since we last drove this car. It's not leaning out, which is nice. <laughs> so that leaning out episode that we had back when I first did my POV drive, um, yeah, we were having so many issues with this car. So now everything has changed. As soon as that car was leaning out, I didn't want to be chasing my tail with 20 year old stuff. I went all out. I decided I would basically redo the entire system and now it's finally been tuned. It's making 20 more kilowatts than it did when I first bought this car. Um, however, at the moment, it's currently only running on 98. So uh, yes, you will have to forgive me. It's currently only making 240 kilowatts, but that is still plenty fast. This is also my first drive with the Shockworks coilovers and my god, are they insane. And I can already feel that the Shockworks coilovers are working absolute magic. Like, you know how I was saying in a lot of those other videos where the suspension on these and the steering input just feels super doughy? Well now it's only a little bit doughy and that's awesome. <laughs> So with the way that they've set these uh, coilovers up, I believe we're running um, 8 and 10k uh, spring rates. So theoretically, it shouldn't bottom out when I go over this. Not, not even a little bit. Uh, we're going to head straight into the twisties. Uh, I'll show you exactly what this car is all about. I am so excited to finally be able to rip a car that's now safe. The fuel ratio is safe. The coilovers are safe. The tyres are safe. Everything about this car is going to be safe as hell, and I'm so excited. Just quickly turn my uh, aircon off, race car things. So in terms of power as well, this car made 272 all-wheel kilowatts on the dyno, which might I just add, is more power than the uh, Adam LZ's Australian Evo made. So that's a massive plus. Not that it was a competition or anything, but all right, let's do our first little rip. This is the coolest 
coolest car I have ever built. it 
have some fun, work out all the kinks, but at the moment this thing is just performing so incredibly. Let me know what you guys want to see in the future for this car, any mods you guys want to see.